one I thought you can enjoy Let's get crazy with it if you really ready I'ma make you move that body, make it sweaty If you catch my vibe, you gon' feel it heavy You think I'm lying, but how much you wanna bet me? Ooh, you know just what to do I'm here for a quick update on the shoe. First of all, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button and comment below. Okay, let's get into this update. Alrighty, after a month of running in the Nike Infinite React, I can say that these are my favorite running shoes, but there are some things that I dislike about the shoe. So we'll talk about we'll talk about the positives first. Alright, the positives are that they are very comfortable right off the bat. As soon as you put these on your feet, they feel so cushiony and you will be you will feel very comfortable wearing these shoes okay right away right out of the box another positive is that they fit very untight and they fit just right to your foot so if you see the top of the shoe is very it's not as narrow as other nike shoes and it's stretchable so like the mesh is really soft and pliable towards your foot and I typically like to run with no socks on, but I would not recommend that in these shoes just because the mesh is so thin. I'll bring it closer to the screen so you can see it, but the mesh is so thin and you can see actually the insole of the shoe, which is pretty cool. So the insoles are orange, they come out, no, they're glued in. So the insoles are orange and they have a little Nike sign, but you can see how thin this material is for breathability. So if you want to keep them fresh, I would suggest wearing your socks. Don't be like dumb and lose your 160 bucks. And yeah, the price mark. So another thing that I would say is if you're not invested in running, I wouldn't suggest this shoe because they are kind of expensive. So, but I bought this with total of tax was $175. The lowest I've seen is 129. And about the mid range of the price that you're gonna pay is 160 bucks that I'm seeing online and it depends on the colorway. So if you're not invested in running a lot, I wouldn't suggest that you buy these shoes. You should go some, do something else because you should be invested in running if you're gonna spend that much money on a pair of shoes, in my opinion, okay? But they are worth the price. Like I said, it's my favorite running shoe and I would run in them every single day, but the thing is you shouldn't run in one pair of shoes every day. That's how you wear out your shoes and you don't get the whole shelf life time or whatever you're gonna call it. And like I said, I run these every day. Some of the positives is that they do keep up. Some of the negatives are they do get a little bit dirty on the insides, as you can see. They're road shoes, but not too bad for running on the streets and in rocks, and I've been running in dirt. You can see the bottom, and some rocks get cotton, like some of the grooves. But other than that, the dirt, you can just brush it, brush it off. Like I have not cleaned these one time, so that's my fault of neglect. And then the back tongue is a little bit dirty on there. Through some sweat and debris and stuff. You can scrub that off though, probably get that cleaned out. Um, they are a head turner. These look really cool. I notice people look at them when I walk with them. You know, you get little looks when you wear shoes like this. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I would recommend you buying if you're really invested. If you're not invested in running, I'll say it's a pass on these shoes, but they are my favorite running shoes, I'm not gonna lie. So I maybe I'll do a comparison with the Pegasus 37. I'll do a video if you guys can get those likes up 
and get those get those subscriptions up so I give you guys more content. So that's my update on Nike um, Flynet. Alrighty guys, as you can see, I did a, another review, running scenes and all, uh, with this shoe, the Nike Infinity React, um, find it, I would recommend the shoe, like I said, I've been running in these for about one month, and I've not cleaned them one time, the only knock I have about the shoe is, for one, it's all white, and I run outside, it does get a tad bit dirty, but other than that, it's a really nice silhouette of a shoe, it looks really cool, it's very comfortable, right? when you put them on. So the, the break in time for these is really, really short. So if you guys like this review, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button, comment below, and I'm out, Jackson Lee.